Good afternoon our respectable subscribers, today we will show you a homemade mini hydroelectric station on a small river. This HPP works reliably as a quality watch. In order to create a water level difference, there was constructed a mini dam, but the river wasn't completely blocked. As we can see, the main stream goes in another way, freely, and the fish and other animals can safely move along. There is a pipe under the dam, and a self-made turbine is attached to the end of the pipe. The flow of water twists the turbine, passing through the pipe, and transfers the torque to the generator. At first we were trying to use these water wheels, but their efficiency is twice lower, so the generator could give us twice less power from the same river, and in winter this kind of wheels is heavily frozen and don't work at all. Now we are stopping the water to show you the turbine itself. And the river is going around the dam. The turbine is set on the bearings made of wood and a thrust washer that saves the turbine from the lateral displacement. At the end of the pipe there is a such peculiar casing made of the conveyor belt that is usually used in the mines. It is set there in order to direct the flow of water to the blades. By experience it was found out that this shape of the blades is optimal, if we bend the blades at a larger angle we will lose the power. And to protect the blades from being damaged by vibrations or something else, we screwed them with laying down the rubber from the same miner's conveyor belt. The torque is transmitted to the main generator through a shaft assembled from the pipes. The drive shafts from the vase and other simple connections are used to convey the torque on the bands. All this is based on the wooden bearings, which with regular lubrication work perfectly for many years. There is a generator itself under a canopy. There is a large pulley from the combine installed on the shaft, and on the generator there is a smaller one. This allows to increase the speed of the rotation, what's necessary to be efficient. There is one more option, we can switch the belt on the circular so the power of the water turbine is quite enough for its work. This power plant has been operating for many years and during this time many kinds of generators were used here. 6 kW generator and this one. But this self-made generator has the strongest performance. It is based on the three-phase motor, which windings were wound over by a thick wire to lower the voltage. Its iron router was cut and the niodymium magnets were fixed there with a special adhesive. This self-made hydroelectric station gives 600 watts. It works round the clock, with no brakes. You can hardly disagree that it's pretty good to receive so much electricity for free. Especially if there is no way to connect to the power grid. There are several buildings fed from this mini power station in the apiary. The beehives are illuminated by bright LED flashlights. This light scares away bears and other wild animals. All year round there works a refrigerator, TV and other stuff. In the next video I will show you some features of using this hydroelectric power station, I will tell you why we had to connect this inverter, these batteries and this charge controller. And you will also know how good this hydroelectric power station works in winter, when it's minus 30 degrees Celsius and there are 2 meter drifts, and in spring when the flood comes. We will think about the upgrading and increasing the power for using the heating system in winter. Subscribe not to miss it! Watch more about the alternative energy on the Kresan channel.